Mike Renner here breaking down the top free agent linebackers in the NFL this coming offseason. At number one, we have Eagles linebacker Jordan Hicks. Now, he has major injury concerns after an Achilles injury back in 2017 and a rookie season shortened that placed him on IR. But when he's healthy and on the field, he's one of the most dynamic linebackers in the NFL. He earned an 88.3 overall grade back in 2016 and then an 80.7 grade this past season. He offers coverage ability and ability against the run. He is a complete linebacker and he is our number one free agent target. On to number two, where we have C.J. Mosley of the Baltimore Ravens. The former first round pick has been the definition of solid against both run and pass. He's placed top 35 in run stop percentage each of his four seasons, including a career best this past season of 10.6 run stop percentage in 2018. Mosley is not a liability in coverage either. This past year, he only allowed 408 yards and 9.3 yards per reception. He's due for a pretty big contract in free agency this offseason. On to number three, where Anthony Barr checks in. The Vikings linebacker would have been much higher on this list a few seasons ago, but ever since he posted a grade north of 90 in his second season in the NFL, he's had three straight years with a coverage grade under 70. He does, though, offer some as a pass rusher and led all off-ball linebackers with a 13.8 pass rushing productivity where he accumulated 23 pressures on 94 pass rushing snaps this past season. Teams may covet that pass rushing ability and see him as an edge inside linebacker hybrid as he played on the edge back at UCLA. At number four, we have KJ Wright of the Seattle Seahawks. Wright would have been another guy who would have been much higher on this list just a few seasons ago, but at 30 years old, we've seen a notable downtick in his play of late. He hasn't had a season graded lower than 65, but at the same time, he has not had a coverage grade over 80 since 2015. KJ Wright, though, still a solid player. That's why he checks in at number four. At number five, we start getting some question marks as Quan Alexander, the linebacker for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, checks in. He's only 24, but he has not necessarily produced in the past few years like you'd expect a young player to continue progressing. While he had 11 pass breakups in his rookie and second year in the NFL combined, he's had only three since and has not been near the playmaker we saw from him in coverage early on in his career. On to number six, we have Michael Kendricks, who still faces charges for insider trading, but was once a top five linebacker in the NFL grade-wise. He has seen some up and down play over the years, but his playmaking style earned him five pass breakups, 40 stops, and an 82.0 overall grade back in 2017 for the Super Bowl champion Eagles. At number seven, we have Denzel Perriman, the Chargers linebacker who just has not been able to stay healthy. He had only 386 snaps this past season. When on the field though, he's been one of the best run stopping linebackers in the NFL. At number eight is Dale and Buchanan, the safety turned linebacker for the Arizona Cardinals. He has been a liability against the run in his time there. And this past season, he really took a step back in coverage when he averaged 14.5 yards per catch into his coverage. He has though been pretty solid as a tackler, missing just four in the regular season this past season. At number nine, we have Jake Ryan, who missed all of 2018 with an ACL injury. He's limited with his athleticism, but he earned a 75.7 overall grade back in 2017 on limited snaps. Finally, at number 10, rounding out the list, we have Preston Brown, who signed this past season with the Bengals on a free agent contract. After playing 1,000 plus snaps in his four seasons with the Bills, though, injury struck and he only played in seven games this past season and earned a career worst 55.8 overall grade. There you have it. There's your top 10. Make sure to go to profootballfocus.com to check out all our top 10 lists and our rankings of the top 50 free agents in the NFL.